एवरी वन इन द लास्ट साइंस सेशन वी हैड डन द रिविजन ऑफ लेसन नंबर वन दैट इज ईटिंग हैबिट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास यू हैड लर्न अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर ईटिंग हैबिट्स राइट सो चिल्ड्रन टेल मी हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स आर देयर डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर ईटिंग हैबिट्स येस चिल्ड्रन टेल मी येस देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर ईटिंग हैबिट्स राइट इन दैट फर्स्ट वन हार्बीवोस सेकेंड वन इज कार्निवोस एंड थर्ड वन इज ओमनिवोस राइट येस नाउ टेल मी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ हार्बीवोर एनिमल्स येस हार्बीवोस आर एनिमल्स दैट ईट ओनली प्लांट्स राइट एंड द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द हार्बीवोस एनिमल्स आर काउज बफेलोज rabbits giraffe and etc these are what herbivore animals now second type of animals are carnivores now tell me what is the meaning of carnivore animals yes carnivores animals that eat flesh of other animals or they eat other animals they are called carnivores and the examples of the carnivores animals are tiger lion cheetah then dolphin and etc fox is also a carnivore animal and now third type of animals is omnivores animals yes omnivores animals are those animals who eat both that is plants and other animals they are called omnivores right now tell me the examples of omnivores yes the examples are rat crows bear and humans yes humans are also a omnivores animal because they eat both plants and other animals so they are omnivores in today's class we will be learning about food chain before starting with the topic let me explain you the meaning of two terms in that first one is producers producers means those organism that can make its own food so the plants are producers See again, I am telling. Producers are those organism that can make their own food. So plants are the producers. And the second term is consumers. Consumers are the organism that eat other organism. Consumers are the those organisms that eat other organism. in nature we all depend upon each other we give something and get something in return right so the given plants are producers and organism that eat these green plants are consumers here one food chain is given this is an example of a food chain here grass 
is eaten by a deer and deer is eaten by a tiger right yes now about food chain food chain means what food chain is here the grass and deer and tiger form a chain such a chain which tells us who eats what in nature is called a food chain or you can say food chain is a diagram that shows how food energy moves from one organism to another in a environment food energy moves along the food chain which one organism eats other now have a look at the next example here the picture of corns then rat then snake and owl is given they depend upon each other they are connected in a food chain here you can see corns are eaten by a rat then rat it it is eaten by snake and then snake is eaten by an owl right this is the example of one food chain now have a look at the next example yes here we all know that fishes live in water right they eat plants and other fishes they eat plants that grow in the water these fishes are then consumed by the human beings right in all the examples of a food chain we can see that food chain begins from plant all the food chain starts with plants all the animals depend on plants for their food as you can see in the picture fishes eat water plants and then that water plants are eaten by fish and then fish is eaten by a from a human beings right the term food chain describes the order which organism depends on each other for their food every organism has one or more food chain most food chain starts with organism that's make their own food means what who makes their own food plants so all the food chain starts with plants right all plants and animals have their place in the natural world we must respect their existence we have to take care of these animals i hope you understood the meaning of food chain now we shall learn about another interesting topic that is eating habits of animals different animals eat different food right they have mouth parts suited to the food type of food they eat herbivores such as cows deer camels and horses eat grass and other plants they have sharp and broad front teeth to bite of the grass they have flat back teeth this help them to chew their food well again i am telling herbivores such as cows deer camels and horses have sharp and broad front teeth to bite of the grass they have flat back teeth to chew their food well yes now have a look at this picture this is the picture of a horse 
and horse is a herbivore animal right have a look at the teeth you can see the teeth in the picture the front teeth of a horse are sharp and broad you can see in the picture and the back teeth are flat in the same way all the herbivores have same type of teeth like cow and buffalo and etc all the herbivores have this kind of teeth you must have seen cows and buffaloes chewing their food for a long time you can see in the picture cows and buffalo are eating grass right why do they chew their food for a long time do you know why do they do that yes children do you know cows and buffaloes at the time of grazing cows and buffaloes and some other herbivores have an interesting way of eating at the time of grazing they swallow their food without chewing it and later they bring it back to the mouth and chew it properly this is called chewing the cud again i am repeating cows and buffaloes and some other herbivores have an interesting way of eating at the time of grazing they swallow their food without chewing it later they bring it back to the mouth and chew it properly this is called chewing the cud yes now let's start the or let's discuss the revision question and their answers here question number 1 complete the food chain here four questions are given and you have to fill in the blank or you have to tell that who eats what in question number 1 dash is eaten by caterpillar and then caterpillar is eaten by bird in the second question dash is eaten by fish and then fish is eaten by human in the third question grain is eaten by what and dash is eaten by human right and question number 4 carrots are eaten by rabbits and red rabbits are eaten by whom right you have to think about the answer i'm giving you some time to think think about the answer children yes now let's discuss the answer first one dash is eaten by caterpillar and then caterpillar is eaten by bird the answer is leaf leaf is eaten by caterpillar and caterpillar is then eaten by bird so leaf is the right answer second question water plants are eaten by fish and then fish are eaten by human so water plants is the right answer question number 3 grains are eaten by hen and then hen are eaten by human so hen is the right answer 
question number 4 R carrots are eaten by rabbit and rabbits are eaten by a fox right now question number 2 choose the correct option in that first one which among these animals is a carnivore options are horse deer and fox yes think about the answer children the animals who eats other animals are called carnivore so which of these animals is carnivore yes the fox is a carnivore animal right question number two all food chains start with dash options are carnivores herbivores or plants yes the right answer is plants all the food chain starts with plants so i am putting a tick on the plants now question number three what kind of front teeth do herbivores have yes herbivores have sharp broad teeth so the right answer is option c that is sharp broad teeth so i am putting a tick on the option c yes next question number 4 which among these animal chews chew the curd options are cow lion and rat now tell me children which among these animal chew the curd just now we discussed yes so the right answer is cow so i am putting a tick on the cow herbivores such as cow buffaloes they eats the they chew the they chew the curd and lion and rat they eat other animal and rat eats both that plants and animals so the right answer is cow cow chews the curd question number 5 which among these animals is a herbivore options are horse lion and fox which among these animals is herbivore yes the right answer is horse horse is the herbivore animal so i am putting a tick on the horse i hope you understood the topic explain i shall meet you in the next science session till then take care and bye Thank you.